God, you put on so much weight. You're so fat now. What if I was suicidal? Why would you just flat out call me fat? Why did you just flat out call me fat? <laughs> Apologize because I'm so thirsty. Since morning, I've been down in water, and it's like I cannot get filled. So, in today's video, we'll be doing a little get ready with me life update. So let's get into it. Let's get ready. I did my hair. Let's get into it. Last time I did a life update was in November, November fifth, and I wanted, I what I've been wanting to do a life update since me since june but i was waiting until november 5th to post it exactly one year after but things got a little too much i'm like i'm just gonna save it until vlogmas so first we're gonna start off on how is life um the last life update i did was one year ago november 5th so since november 5th 2022 up until now how is life how has life been and i must say watching that video back because i watch that video back every time i have a gut feeling to do a life update i have to rewatch that video so i rewatched that video even this morning and um, i was just watching it i'm like just proud of myself like with things that i was saying and whatever but first things first how is life life from last year until now it's been up it's been done it's been good it's been bad like life is in between and i think i said in that video that life is just life like life be life in and life is just like what i've come to establish with myself is that today you're gonna be happy but next week it's not guaranteed that you're gonna be happy next week and that's just how we have to cope in life i think that's how i cope in life is that you're gonna be happy this week but next week it's not guaranteed and that's okay and i think that is something that a lot of people like really need to get in terms with like life may be down now for you but in the next one week life can look up and situations change in no matter of time so i think that's is something that people need to establish and like want to establish that no matter the situation you're in it's gonna be in your mind like yeah life is bad right now but i know it's gonna look up for me so with that answering is that when i have bad days i know it's bad but i know that in the next two weeks or so I'm not going to feel like this. Start of the year. So 2023, let's talk about 2023. The start of 2023. I was so motivated to like get up and like do YouTube work for YouTube and like get the videos and content out. And then I got sick for like two weeks. And that up until this day, it puzzles me because I remember the night before I got badly ill i took some sunflower seed from my sister like i stole them and i ate them and then i walk from the kitchen to the living room sit down in the chair and as i sit down i started to feel sick and then i woke up the next going to bed feeling sick woke up next morning sick sick for two weeks and up until this day, I'm convinced that I'm allergic to sunflower seeds and I am not eating it ever again in my entire life. Like, you cannot tell me that I'm not allergic to sunflower seeds. Even though I don't know for sure, but it was the worst time of my entire life. Like, I was coughing so bad. Like, I'm just wetting my beauty blender water all on the floor this is so bad don't be like me remember i got some videos up 
and I even did a sick day and yeah the start of the year I was motivated I made goals for myself and uh, I must say 2023 was a good year to me like we're still in it but I think it's a good year to me um in 2022 I was a lot more depressed I I'm still depressed in 2023 sometimes but it's a lot more settled in 2023 so I think 2023 was a very good year to me I got most of my goals that I wrote down I accomplished and all the years before I didn't accomplish nothing of my goals like I write goals list for every year 10 goals whatever goals none accomplish none but this year I can say I accomplished almost all my goals i have to look back on the list but i'll look back on it at a later date but i think i accomplished most of my thing and i'm just so happy that i did and what i did different than all the other years like if you're writing down goals and you don't accomplish them you need to like check your check yourself like what are you doing to accomplish these goals like all the other years i'll just write on a little paper my New Year's resolution and I'm not doing anything to accomplish them like nothing at all I don't work towards them in the year then how are you gonna accomplish them at the end of the year if you're not working towards them like I had to like put some pep to myself for that like how do you expect to accomplish and you're not doing anything so I'm happy with the start of the year it was not bad travel I travel I went on a trip in may may 6th i went on a trip that was a really good time of my life for that trip like i planned that trip last december like you know what i'm going on a trip in may it was supposed to be in march but things got pushed back a bit and may was like the only available time it started of me at the same time when i was going on my trip my dad was leaving for six months so i think it was a good timing I did not. I thought I was gonna leave and then come back to see him, and then he left. But he ended up leaving before we did, and that was so cool. Um, we went for a week, a week only, and I had so much fun on the trip. Like traveling is fun. Traveling is fun. The anxiety in the airport and baggage claim and whatever. It's not fun, but traveling itself, otherwise from that, it's fun. I had so much fun. Like every day I relive my traveling, my th that travel trip. Because I would say to people, if you can travel, if you have the means, if you can, I would definitely say take a trip and just live life. Just take a trip, no matter where it is, just like take a trip if you can, because it really helps, it, it helps out. We went to Atlanta Airport and let's just talk about how Atlanta Airport is so big and dangerous. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, you will get lost. You will get lost if you don't know what you're doing. And some of the workers are really mean, but some of them are nice. But it was just this one guy. He was so mean. Like... You deserve to get checked so it was fun um i left here let's talk about how we almost missed our flight we were supposed to get up at 2 a.m we went to bed late that night because we were so tired we packed the night before and we were supposed to wake up 2 a.m and we set the alarm slept through the alarm never again if you need something to do something important make sure you're setting alarms after alarms we just set one alarm we slept through the two o'clock alarm and we got up at 4 a.m. when we were supposed to leave 4 a.m. So we were just rushing and we were like, oh my God, are we going to make it? Oh my God, I can see it all in my lips. We were like, are we going to make this trip? We're going to miss this flight. But we made it. And then we went to Atlanta. And when we were in Atlanta, oh my God, we thought we were going to miss this flight because we went to the wrong gate and we got to take the train again to go to the right gate it was just so much when we hit the second flight we were just like cooling down and then 
the flight from Atlanta to where we were going, it was just like one hour. It's a connecting flight. It was smooth. And we reached our destination like 3 p.m. And when we reached, my cousin picked us up. And then we went to Walmart. Straight off the flight, we went to Walmart. And I bought my little tripod that you guys are on the first day of Vandem. And we went to Walmart. And then we went to Dollar Tree. So much fun. And then we went home. And that night, I just chilled. We ate shrimp and... I vlogged it. It's up. So you guys can go and watch it if you want. I had fun that trip. I still haven't watched that vlog back. But I'm going to watch it before the year ends. Like to just like reminisce. And I want to travel again. And I will travel again. And I cannot wait. Let's get into it. Summer. So summer. I think summer went by very quickly. I think summer I was doing very good with posting my content as well. And it was it was a good summer i was feeling very good this summer last summer i was very depressed i was not eating let's talk about that disclaimer last summer i was not eating anything i was losing weight because i was not eating it was just such a depressive time of my life last summer but this summer was good i ate i ate this summer okay i gained weight i gained weight all over the summer and let's talk about how much I ate this summer and I gained weight and I went out and like this lady was like, oh my God, you put on so much weight. You're so fat now. What if I was suicidal? Like how? She's lucky that I respect her and I was not going to be rude to her because why would you just flat out call me fat? Why would you just flat out call me fat? Why did you just flat out call me fat? She called me fat. I It did not um really affect me because I'm happy with myself. And I know what I see and know what I love. But it didn't affect me. So I think that's why I was not like rude to her or whatever. Maybe if it did affect me maybe i would like react it or whatever but it didn't affect me because to myself i know how i look and i love how i look so and if anybody's out there taunting you about your weight whatever if you're slim if you're fat whatever it is you put them in their place if you don't like it talk up but if you are comfortable with yourself and whatever you don't have to say anything to them because you already know that you are fine birthday my birthday is september 12th and um, my birthday was fun it was it was fun it was so good um my mom and my sister and my niece and my grandma they made it very special i had so much fun and i vlogged that getting ready getting ready for my birthday was really fun and uh, the birthday itself was really fun. I love getting dressed and I just love vlogging my birthday. It was a really good vlog. I had fun that day. I was really happy. And yeah, I was really happy that birthday. And as I said in that birthday vlogs a couple of birthdays ago, I was not really ha I was not happy. I was always questioning God, why am I alive today? Like I don't want to be alive. I don't want to be alive. Why am I I, I hate it. I hate it here because something very bad happened some time ago. And I was like, you know what? I hate my birthday. But I think this year, this year was a really good year. Because this year it made me realize that, you know, you're alive. Appreciate life. Because many people wish they were here right now. And you are here alive at this age. Many people don't live to see your age and people just wish they had their family here or whatever. So be grateful and just stop, just stop being sad. And that's what I did. And, you know, I think after that traumatic experience, every year it's just like it keeps getting better. So I'm really looking forward to next year. No, it's going to help me out. Hitting 500 subs around my birthday. 
I think I hit 500 subs around October, September, and I was so happy that I hit 500. November coming up, I'm at like 500, and I was like, you know, for November, I want to hit 600 sub for November. And then I was just listening to myself, and I'm like, you know what, you need a him a year because every month I aim for like 100 subs. I'm like, you need a him a little higher for yourself. And I was like, okay. 700 subs before the end of November and right at the end of right near to the end of November I hit 700 subs I hit 600 subs like the Sunday and like the Monday I hit 700 and the Tuesday I hit I'm like 800 I'm like oh my god we're going up so fast I think we're gonna hit a thousand subscribers before December because the goal I have for myself is to hit thousand subscribers before the year ends like it's a must that's like one of my goals too I can share that with you so I was like I need to hit a thousand subscribers before December ends but I didn't know that I was gonna hit it so fast in November so on Thursday I woke up and it was like 903 subs I'm like oh my god this is going up I know I'm gonna eat, hit like a thousand by Friday. So in the day, it was climbing to 934 of the of Thursday. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna hit that tonight today. So Thursday, I hit a thousand subs, guys, and I was so excited. And I always wanna hit sub my my goals like with my mom beside me, and it was in the day she was at work. And I always wanted to hit my goals with her. And I wanted to like be awake when I was going to change a thousand. So I was like, oh my God. And then surprisingly, my mom came home early. My mom came home when I was like, like 990 something, 991. My mom came home just in time, surprisingly. And we sat together and we just watched and waited for it to hit. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited to be a thousand. And by the next day, I hit 2,000. Um, Saturday, I hit like 3,000. And it was just jumping. And I'm so happy to where I am. And I've been working hard on TikTok. I've been posting TikTok recently. Like to grow on TikTok. It's like really hard to grow on TikTok. But I'm, I'm getting there. You guys go and follow my TikTok. Yeah, I'm kind of sweating. It's hot in here. It's so hot. I'm doing Vlogmas. I didn't post yesterday, day three, because uh, I was on my period, TMI. But I was on my period and I was feeling a little bit of a pain. So I was slugging around and I had a vlog to post. The vlog I'm posting today. I'm like, you know what? It's already 5 p.m. I don't want to post late. Like, I'm trying to post my videos at 12 p.m. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to miss today. It's not, it's not, it's not that deep. I'm going to miss today. And that's what I did. It's like, okay. I'm just going to miss today. And we'll see you tomorrow. So, my vlog is coming out in a couple minutes. It's 7.37. So, go watch that. If you haven't, it sucked your day in my life. Okay, I'm so hot. I haven't finished my my thousand celebration vlog. I want to finish that Friday. I was supposed to finish it last week Friday, but I was PMSing so bad that I couldn't go out to like get balloons and stuff. So I'm anticipating this Friday. I'm so happy to be done with this face. Like, I didn't even try my best. Um, Today is the last day I posted last year in Vlogmas. And I failed. I didn't complete it. Because I was tired. Well, I wasn't tired. It was just hard to, like, film and, uh, like, edit. And I just gave up. And I was just watching my favorite YouTubers' content. That's, like, the best thing. Is when you see all your favorite creators, like, posting up all at once and this is so fun i just want people to feel like that about my 
videos um i have this one person like comment on my videos i think it's cm forever i love uh, my bestie like that's my bestie looking far for 2024 um i'm so excited um i'm looking to just be a better version of myself mental health right now i'm okay i'm feeling good i'm not depressed i'm not stressed right now whatever even though the last two weeks i uh, was really depressed i was going through it i was so sad even my grandmother had to like get involved and be like she's like i think you need to go on a vacation like go on a trip somewhere hop on a plane and go on a trip somewhere to get your mind right because there's no way you should be so depressed at such a young age and i was just crying i was bawling my eyes out when she was talking to me over the phone because just to hear your grandma say things like that and she was like so helpful and she was like i love you because you you motivate me and like to hear my grandmother say she, i motivate her it's just it's a wonderful feeling to know that i motivate my grandmother because i don't know if you guys know but i'm one of i'm like literally one of the most um positive persons ever so i don't like debbie donors i don't want a debbie donor around me like i'm i'm high in spirits i'm high in spirits and i'm a very positive person and i look forward to the most things like i don't do negative talks like don't be negative around me we don't do negative energy so i'm always that person that uplifts everyone because i don't believe in negativity so to see that i was struggling and she like you know what you are a motivator you are a strong person you need to like fix yourself and get yourself together and then i got myself together i got sick again i didn't tell you guys this but i got really badly ill about two weeks ago um tomorrow is going to be two weeks and it was so bad i thought i was gonna die but thanks to god i'm alive and well and my mom and my sister oh my god i love them so much i love my entire family so much they help me through so much they're good people look at me they're good people they're good people i don't think they're gonna watch this because i forbid i forbid them from watching my videos it's so embarrassing like yeah i'm posting my videos for the entire world to see but it's embarrassing when someone i know watching my videos like i feel like i cannot be myself and i cannot like talk what i want to talk next one is relationships if i'm in a relationship no i'm not into any relationship like i'm not doing a really crazy crazy one because i want to do a i want to do a little um get ready with me q a i want to do a little q a so I'm not really going crazy. I'm gonna lie my lips. I'm not really going crazy on the questions, like life updates, because I wanna do a QA. But nah. Mind any relationships. I'm not really a I'm not a dating person. I don't know what term you would have for me. I don't think it's asexual. But I don't know what term you would have for me, but I'm not a dating person. I don't date, I don't do relationships and uh, yeah that's pretty sad because to me i always say this it's like i'm a hypocrite i always say that these are the years i had to stop that video i just got a call from my mom she's mad at me because she wants me to like help her or something but i'm in the middle of women i already missed one day i cannot miss another yeah, so I think I'm the biggest hypocrite because I always say this. I think that it is it is something, it's important to date. I think it's important to date at this young age. I think this is the years of dating, teenage years of dating. I think it's important. I think these are the years to be in a relationship. And I think if you're ready and somebody is willing if you're ready and willing to pursue someone and someone is willing to date you or whatever i think you should go for it because the years today but i'm just not willing like i don't want to play i'm the coach i'm the coach i don't want to play
I will get more into that in my little Q&A or girl talk or whatever, but... One of the first comments I got on my YouTube channel was like... The first video I posted, the first comment was... Are you gay? <laughs> okay, why would you ask me that? Like, no hello, no hi, no how are you doing? Just straight out the back? My sexuality? My dating? But I'll answer that in my Q&A. So if you want to know... If you're still here, I'll answer that in my Q&A or whatever. But yeah, I'm happy, I'm well, um, I'm feeling motivated to like get videos out, push videos out. And I'm just having fun with my life. I feel good, I feel happy, I feel blessed, I feel fresh and ready to see what the new year has for me. To see what God has in store for me and for the people around me. And I'm blessed and highly favored. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for 1,000 subs. And thank you guys for supporting me and everything. Make sure you watch my other content. Mom for Vlogmas. And yeah, just a little, not too much of a life update. But I promise you guys will get more from me. I'm doing a QA, I'm going to do a girl talk, an assumption. So you guys just get ready for all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Jenna and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.